spicy, delicious, mouth-watery roasted chicken. Who doesn't like a wonderful roasted chicken? Yummy with our special, exclusive spicy seasoning and spices on it. Yeah, so give it a try. Let's get into it. Let's start with the ingredients. Take one tablespoon of pepper powder, two tablespoon of red chili powder, one teaspoon of turmeric, one tablespoon of garam masala, salt according to your taste, one or two lemon, butter, and of course, a fresh whole chicken. Mix all these dry ingredients in lemon juice. Do not add water for this process because the lemon gives that great tangy taste to the masala. So let's use lemon juice for this mix. Let's mix it well and uh, Mix it till it becomes a fine paste. Now let's come to the chicken. Make gashes on the chicken as shown here. This helps the masala to enter into the chicken and give the flavors into the meat. Helps the steam and the heat to penetrate inside and makes it soft and moist. So just give it as much cuts as possible. Keep the process neat. Dry the chicken with the help of chicken paper towel before applying the masala because this helps in giving the crispiness to the chicken after the cook. Now spread the masala evenly over the chicken. Make sure the masala is rubbed inside the gaseous too. This helps it to give the spices inside the chicken, inside the meat. So just spread it evenly and nicely. Don't miss any spots, just try it and uh, spread it inside the chicken, inside the gaseous and give it a smooth touch. Wrap it in cling film and allow it to marinate for about an hour in the refrigerator. As you can see, I have taken a roaster pan. I am covering it with the aluminium foil for an easy clean after the roast. Then place the marinated chicken gently. The advantage of this pan is the grilling mesh which helps drain the excess water and give it a crispy finish. Keep it inside the preheated oven. The oven is preheated for 5 minutes earlier at 180 degrees celsius. Roast it for 20 minutes. Remove it and brush it with melted butter as this gives a good crisp to the chicken. Leave it for 5 more minutes in the oven in the same position. After 5 minutes, turn the chicken upside down. Allow it to cook for another 15 minutes. Meanwhile, arrange onions, capsicum which is bell pepper and some tomato pieces in skewer. This is optional, it's just a vegetarian grill side for the main dish. Then grill them along with the chicken for 5 more minutes. Again repeat the same process. Take out the chicken, apply some butter for a more crisp on the other side. Place the veggie skewers and roast them for another 5 minutes. Take out the chicken, switch off the oven. Check the chicken, cook it until you get this kind of look, a tender feel. Wow, the aroma, the flavor, the spices. Mmm, the masala, the taste. Wow, it's just so aromatic and mouth-watery. Now, just remove the veggie skewers and place the chicken back into the oven. Let the chicken rest inside the oven for 10 minutes to let it reabsorb all its flavors. Once again, brush it with butter before serving for a shiny look and a crispy taste. I have served the toast chicken with skewed vegetables, saffron rice, spicy tomato salsa and some salad. 
Roast chicken goes well with naan and tarka dal too. Try it as per your taste and enjoy the delicious crispy chicken with your family and friends. Here we come to the end of this video. Hope you liked it. It was a unique and different way of cooking a roast chicken. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Subscribe and thanks a lot for doing it. And thanks for supporting. And yeah, as always, doing things differently. And see you next week for a new special surprising video. Something new maybe, yeah. So yeah, see ya.